Good morning, students. Welcome back after vacations. I know you could not enjoy the vacations. That is small virus that is Corona has taken away your vacations. But at least some of you might have tried to interact with your friends either from mobile or with a local relationship. Some how you might have enjoyed. Your parents might have given their affection and some love. Your mothers might have given very tasty, delicious food items to you. So the love and affection and the feelings being at home, you might have enjoyed. Now we have to come back to our system of education. You know, we cannot relax or enjoy most of the time. There is an aim, there is a plan to do something. So when we have a plan and aim to do something, after a break, we have to come back to that activity. If we don't come back to that activity, or a plan which we have made, we cannot achieve it. In ancient time, human beings were going for honey. If they have spotted an animal to hunt, they may take a break because they know that animal is located, animal cannot escape. But if they permanently take a break, the animal will escape. Select that anything it is, and we have a focus. When we have planned something, it is necessary to come back to that. So, after summer vacations, we are back to our academic activities. You know this, you know, this year there was no written examination of the board. And the result is given based on the monthly test half yearly and the pre -board. Next year we don't know what is going to happen. What is the future? Whether there will be examination? What is the situation? If you, if all of us are vaccinated. Changes may take place, we don't know. Then we humanity the vaccination. Still, if others are vaccinated, the elders are vaccinated, you may be safe. So we don't know anything about the future. So please leave the present. Study, 
listen to the video comprehend try to find out the more information about the topic to be learned because we have got a limitation so please do that so we we are continuing about the revolutionaries what has happened to the european society we have stopped with the mazini the revolutionary leaders of uh, europe the person who has founded in italy in europe etc now we are entering into the period of revolutions of changes that are brought back or those which brought changes to the european society in 1815 the conservatives have installed a new setup of the defeat of napoleon but the revolutionaries the liberals the socialist minded people were not ready to accept whatever was the implemented by the conservatives so they wanted a change so let us see the conservatives regimes try to consolidate their power the regimes and the rulers ruling class people administrative most of them were not kings so the kings at those king at austria in france in england portugal and spain even we are all the rulers they wanted to remain in power and they wanted the power into their hand they were not ready to share the power they were ready to share the power they were not ready to share the power, the share the power. so there were people who wanted to take the share in the power so the conflict is between these two groups those who want to take the share in the power and those who were not ready to give the share of the power that is share in the power that's the main demand the revolution is not like that the revolution is for that because the kings were having complete power now they are telling others are telling please give some power to us and let us share the power not only you we also should have a share in the power who can ask that's what we are going to see the people who have got the guts or abilities to ask for the power that's what we will see so the liberalism and national nationalism came to be increasingly associated with the revolution so who are there the liberals who are ready to accept the changes that's a liberals having liberal mindset ah, the people who are not autocrat or people who are not orthodox people who are ready to accept the changes free mindset people they are called liberals and nationalism this is my nation not your own not the king's nation it is a nation of the people who all live in that area so it is all everybody all the members who are living in that area are responsible for anything and everything that happens inside we know in this nation anything and everything that happens in the country we all are responsible and all of us are affected 
not the prime minister not the defense minister not the home minister everybody every citizen in the country is affected that is no mass nationalism so the decision is not entirely by one person is a decision of the society the power power should be shared all over equal responsibility that is a share that's a demand by the liberals english is associated with the revolution so in which are areas there are revolutions are taking place that's what we are going to see now in italy italy was divided into so many divisions so the unification of italy will see in german unification we will see then the provinces of ottoman empire turkey was a center of the ottoman empire constantinople was the capital so that area so the people demand a change they say we want independence from the control of ottoman turkey so there is a revolution movement in those areas then i have learned poland all these people are telling that it's national it's our thing we want our ideas we will rule our ideas we must be them so that is what we are go our achievement now let us see who are these people who are supporting this kind of liberal mindset or having the nationalistic mindset that is important so areas which are getting the um, revolution areas of people who are asking for changes there is the areas of the people who are there for the liberal and the nationalist so the confrontation is with the conservative people who are not ready to change and the people who want to change the conflict is between them so ultimately who will be successful that is what we have to see so the nationalists were the educated middle class natural upper class are with the ruling class but they don't want much in their ready to accept because they know they are in high positions so the middle class because they are no way they cannot reach up to the higher positions they are not welcome to there in the lower class they cannot accept the being in the lower class so they are in the middle class so they have been stretched in both ways so they really wanted a share in the power in the government that is a elite middle class elite who were professors who the persons who are thinking using their brain school teachers clerks persons who know how to read and write their clerks this they know how to when they read and write the thing about it. a person who is illiterate may not read and write person who thinks so that's the main thing persons who are thinking first and members of the com <coughs> commercial middle class why commercial middle classes a person who has started a business who has got plenty of money but he is not recognized in the society he has got money but he is not treated equally he is not treated in the way upper class is living because he is having the money to live like an upper class but he is not treated so naturally he demands i also should be treated i also want to be a member of the upper class so give me a share give me my space so commercial middle class educated clerks uh, professors uh, teachers uh, lawyers uh, doctors all this group of people together they are holding the middle class they are demanding the changes in the society so let us see what are the changes that are taking place in 18 after 18 thank you very much <coughs>